spared her from uh, really having a serious situation. And God, we pray that you would have your hedge of protection on her. Pray that she would uh, just be covered by you, help her with her balance, help her with uh, every situation that you just really watch over her in a powerful way. We thank you for her and the blessing of her life. And I pray that you just give her long, prosperous, healthy life in the land that the Lord that God has given her. I just call that forth in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. All right. I'm going to get right to it here. Lord, I, I call for a blessing in your word today. I thank you for man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes out of your mouth. And I thank you, God, for blessing of your word. Your word brings life. Is there anybody hungry for the word of God in the house? I just call for the hunger and thirst for you, Lord God. And I thank you for great blessing. And we thank you for your word. Uh, speak through me today, God. Your word. May it be activated with energy and life. And may it bring a cutting edge influence into people today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Accusation has no confirmation. Amen. Accusation has no confirmation. It's the title of the message. Accusation. It's a charge or claim that someone has done something illegal or wrong. Accusation is one of the big attacks that the devil does on people. One of the big attacks. If he can accuse people and they listen to it, what he does is he shuts down momentum in people's life. Because of the accusation they start to believe about their life. And the thing is, a lot of things that the devil will say in an accusation has half truth to it. It has some truth to it. So if you start listening to it, you start to get pulled in and influence and momentum can be shut down in your life because, because you listened to to the accusation. So I'm going to read Psalm 31, 18. Psalm 31, 18. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt. It's pretty loaded. I'm going to read it again. Let the lying lips mm -hmm. be mute. You got to like speak to those, those words, those arrogant words of enemy about accusation on your life mm -hmm. and say be mute in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Shut it down. It says in Colossians 1.22, But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. Well, I messed up a lot. I, I, my life has been pretty bad. I, I really did a lot of things I shouldn't have done. And I, I'm a Christian and I, I know I shouldn't have done it. But I did it. And I have a hard time getting rid of it. There's a lot of different things that come at you. And there is the accusation that the enemy comes to try to stop you mm -hmm. from growth and blessing and momentum in your life. Amen. And I just got to speak to those things today. Speak to those accusations and shut them down. Amen. And we need to shut them down. Amen. Call, call them being mute in Jesus' name when it comes to your life. Amen. Amen. Gag those loudmouth liars. Gag them. <laughs> Come on. Who heckle and jeer and do the cat calls in your life. Shut them down in Jesus' name. Take authority. 
take authority. You've got authority in Jesus' name, and he's called you and I to be someone that busts loose and says, no, I'm not going to listen to the accusations about my life, whether some of it's true or not. Because Jesus said, I am free from accusation. Amen. I'm free. Yes. And whom the Son says free, free, come on now, is anybody here with me? Yes. Whom the Son says free is free indeed. Yes. Come on. Yes. You're free. Free from accusation. Amen. It's not the character of Jesus to accuse you. Mm. He's not the accuser. He's not the one speaking. He could be. He could accuse you. And he rightfully would say some things about us that would be 100% truth. But he chooses not to. In fact, he casts your sin as far as the east is from the west. Amen. He removes your transgressions from you so that he doesn't even... Remember them no more. He doesn't remember them. He says, you know what? You go like, oh, sorry, Jesus, for the 50th time. I'm sorry for the sin that I did back five years ago. Mm -hmm. And God's saying, what? Are you talking about? That's forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. As far as the east is from the west, it's removed from you. Mm -hmm. Why are you holding on to it? Mm -hmm. Why are you taking those accusations and still milking them mm -hmm. for all they're worth? When God is saying, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. Free indeed. Yeah. God's called us to grab onto that today. Shake off those heavy bands. Mm -hmm. Lift up those holy hands. That's a song. I didn't just make it up. Okay. <laughs> but shake off those things that try to hold you down and hold you back. Yeah. And press forward in what God has. We need to live full throttle. Christianity here. Amen. Full throttle. Yes, we are. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on now. I had this motorboat. I didn't really know it very well, but got this nice motorboat. Me and my friend, we went out to, through Deception Pass. And and so there's two lovers, you know. You, you're sitting, you're sitting, you start it, you're sitting in the seat by the front, and the big motor's in the back, and you're sitting there, and you start it, ah, oh, it sounds good. It sounds really good. And so take the lever and I shove it forward to go fast. And there's two levers. So I take the other lever, and, lever, lever, <laughs> lever, <laughs> and I shove it forward. And it was going wimpy. The motor was hardly moving. It was, it was just puttering through. It's not good to putter through deception pass, okay? No. And it, it was swift. And with the whirlpools whipping around, logs flying up out of the water and all that stuff. And here we are just kind of putt, 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 putt. We're stuck in one spot. It's like we, we weren't going backwards, but we won't, we're not going forward. And we're right in the middle of the mess. Right in the middle of the mess. We need to go full throttle to get through there. And there's a lot of things in your life that you need to be going full throttle. And... and you got you got a lever, lever pushed down, and and you're thinking, man, I'm going fast, and but you you're not going anywhere. Problem was, here's what we did. Me and my friend, we decided to quit. We went home, so we we uh, turned around because we weren't gaining any ground. And then my my friend says, I, I looked at the at the motor, and I figured things out. What we did was wrong. We took the lever and went. Vroom! Pushed it down, and the other lever we pushed down two to go with it. So we try to push one, but one of them it engages or disengages the lock part on it, and you pull it the other way. So one lever goes this way, and then the other lever goes way down, and you can go super fast. And so a lot of us are we we got the levers not quite working right. One of them is. We got the accusations that we're listening to. Mm -hmm. And it's like we're stuck in one spot in the middle of the mess mm -hmm. when God has called us to hit full throttle. Amen. 
not listen to the accusations. We are free, and we need to start moving fast and swift through the challenges of our everyday life. Is anybody with me on that? Yes. So God's called us to advance and move forward. Full throttle. Yes, I blew it. I admit I blew it. It's okay to say it. you blow it in a situation. Yes, I did. I blew it. But I've given it to God. And it's covered. It's covered. He forgives me. He forgives you. We got to just have that freedom inside of our inner man. Realizing we are free. We are free. We're forgiven. Come on now. Does that feel good? Yeah. Can you say, I'm forgiven today? I'm forgiven. Come on. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. You are forgiven. And God wants us to, to advance forward in the thoughts of that. The devil would want to say to you, and you call yourself a Christian. Yep. Oh, yeah? And another thing he would say would be like, okay, at work, you're gossiping. You're throwing uh, somebody else under the bus. Yeah, I saw that. You know, the Bible talks about gossip. Mm -hmm. You know, and all the different little words that try to come at us about things that we say or do. I saw you on the internet looking at something inappropriately. Ah, and you call yourself a Christian? All the different things. You know what? we got to, like, be free inside to, to grow and shake off the challenges. It's not like we, like, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just keep, keep sinning. Shall we go on sinning that God's grace may increase? No. By no means. We died to sin. How can we live it any longer? That's right. So, so we take his grace that he gives us. Not a ticket to sin, but we take it to grow and to shake off the things and the challenges ahead. And when things are hard to shake off, we still go after it to shake it off. And God is with you all the way. All the time. So you're going to get the victory in your life when you don't hold the condemnation over your own head. Amen. You don't hold the condemnation over your own head. And you realize that, that grace is there for me to win. And I'm going to bust through these challenges of my life. Amen. Don't let shame lead you. Let love lead you. Let love lead you. Let that be the motivating force behind your motivation. Mm -hmm. The love of God, what he's done for you and poured forth into your life. Amen? Amen. I declare war against the spirit of accusation. Amen. Amen. Me too. I declare war against the spirit of accusation. Amen. And I'm not going to receive it. Never. I'm not going to receive it. Amen? Amen. The wounds of shame go deep. They run deep. And they stunt the progress and growth of our life if we let it. Amen? But you're free and clear. I wonder how many blessings in our life have we actually stopped ourselves from because we've listened to the spirit of accusation over our life. And we just thought, I must be one of those hypocrites. I must be one of those people that just, I just have a hard time being a doer of the word. God's declared we're supposed to be doers of the word, not just hearers only. But there's also another side to it. There's also a process in our life, a process of growth. We're growing from glory to glory, from challenge to challenge. And we're pushing through these things. And sometimes the challenge is we hit a wall. We hit a wall and it stops us. But then we just keep hitting that wall and we keep hitting it. And we start weakening that wall, and we bust through that wall, and we go forward. So you're going to hit some walls in life, but you can advance against a troop, and you can scale walls. You can either bust through the wall, or you can leap over the wall. And God has given you the anointing to win in those situations. Amen? Amen. How many times have we opted out of God's goodness 
for our life because we feel that we don't deserve the manifestation of his glory. And God is calling us to receive those things. Don't hold yourself back from the blessings. The blessings are there from God to keep going forward. The Pharisees came to Jesus and they said, we caught a prostitute in the act and she, she needs to be stoned. In fact, the law says, and starts to shake the hand, the law says, you know, she's sinned and this needs to happen to her. She needs to be stoned. Crucify her. Get rid of her. Take her out. Take the biggest rocks you can find and take her out. And Jesus, he marked down on the ground and said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Cast the first stone. Here's a couple verses. John 8, 10 says, Jesus straightened up and asked her woman, where are they? Says, how... Has anyone condemned you? Because they all walked away. Every one of them walked away after Jesus said that because they couldn't cast that stone because they have sinned in areas of their life. And so Jesus looked at her and said, he was without sin, cast the first stone and, and, and says to her in verse 11, she said, no one, sir, she said, then neither do I condemn you. Neither do I condemn you. Coming from the Son of God, neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, go now and leave your life of sin. You know, it's, uh, one part is really not addressed very much uh, when, when people quote these scriptures is, you know, the lady, the prostitute, she walked away and she was challenged by Jesus to go and sin no more. But she got the victory for her life because Jesus didn't have a condemning message for her. She was free from accusation from Jesus Christ. And she walked away and she had the power from God to be able to leave that life of sin. Mm -hmm. And so God wants to say to someone here today in the house that, you know, Jesus says, go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. He's telling you, I got grace for you. You're forgiven. I don't, I don't condemn you. Yeah. You're free yeah. from accusation. Yeah. But, go and, but go and sin no more. Yeah. But go and sin no more. Yeah. There's grace for you and I today. To walk away from some challenges that keep trying to hold on to us. Amen. That's right. And we can walk away with an anointing on our life that we're walking away from things that we have tried to walk away from yes. for years and had a hard time to walk away from. And God's calling us to, to walk in those victories. Amen? Amen. Amen. There's a jail card that you can hand the devil. That jail card is that you're not receiving the condemnation and the accusation. You're not receiving it. You hand him the card and it will lock the devil up Amen. from working in your life. Amen. Because the accusations are no longer going to work to stop you by God. Amen. He's going to help you to go forward in blessings. Any amens in the house Amen. on this? Amen. See, God's called us to, to keep getting, being blessed and go forward. Yes. When you feel condemned and helpless, you got the power to walk away from stubborn habits. That's right. You have the power from God to walk away from stubborn habits, and we can go forward. Amen. We bind the, the spirit of accusation. That assignment from the devil, we bind it and we send it back to the sender. Yeah. We send that message back. I get mail and we all get mail and and there's times you get mail and that that's not my mail. Yeah. 
That's not my mail. What do you do with it? You send it back to the sender. Yes. That, that mail's not mine. And there's mail that the devil's trying to send you that says condemned on it. It says lost. It says no hope. It says hypocrite. It says loser. And you said, that's not my mail. That's not my mail. I send that back to the sender. That's coming back where it came from. Amen. That's Amen. not for me. Amen. 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 Every negative word spoken to you, every negative word, it fails. It falls to the ground. Mm -hmm. I got 12 gauge pump shotgun and I used to do a lot of duck hunting. Mm -hmm. And I take some ducks out of the air. <laughs> knock a duck right out of the air. And you have to take those words that the enemy is trying to, to come at you. Shoot it out of the air and let them drop null and void. Amen. Null and void. Let them hit the deck. Amen. Let them in the ground. That is not coming to me. I don't receive it. Amen. I don't receive those words. Amen. Take authority. There's power in the words. Amen. So don't let it sink inside. Don't let it sink, settle, and cement inside of you. Keep going forward in the things that God has. Every negative word is going to fail in Jesus' name. I don't perceive it. I receive what God says. And what God says, I will listen to. What he says about me. If he's got a challenge for me, he's got some things he wants to kick my tail a little bit on, it's fine. Because I know God's going to do it in love. And he's going to challenge me in some things so I can keep going forward. Amen. 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 When you know you're free, that you're forgiven, that you're covered, that you're released, that you're renewed, that you're revived, that you're restored. Come on now. Mm -hmm. When you know that 70 times 7 anointing is on your life. Uh, when there's Hope is activated again inside of you. Get hope activated. No distorted self-image. You're not going to have that for your life. you you got God's blessing and what God says about you. A clear perspective. Clear in his word what he says about your life and my life. That's right. That's what God is wanting from us today. Don't condemn what God renovates. Don't condemn what God renovates. He's renovated you. And he's in the process of still renovating you. If anyone's in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things pass away, the old new things have come. He's renovating you. He's renewing you. Don't condemn it. Amen. Don't condemn what God renovates. And God's called that for our life. There's this horse. It's called Tappet. And this horse is like number one horse in America for making money. Just a champion horse. It, this horse wins multitudes of races. So it has such a winning attitude and winning spirit in this horse that, that this horse is... A, so much so good that people want to breed their horse with that horse. And to be able to, to breed their horse with Tappet is $300,000. Just for one pop to get pregnant. One pop to get pregnant. It's like, wow, 300000 but the benefits of it is astronomical mm -hmm. because the winning bloodline of this horse gets inside the new one. And God would want to say today that his royalty is inside of you. Amen. Amen. God's royalty. And the bloodline 
is a bloodline from heaven. And this bloodline, God has got inside of you. Do you realize today who you really are? That's right. That you are bought with a price. Amen. You are covered by Jesus Christ in his blood. He's covered you. You can go today. It's like no accusations against this vessel. Amen. There should be. There should be. There could be. But I don't receive those because even though night and day the devil is speaking to God and bringing accusation against you, against your life, it's like the accuser of the brethren is, is speaking negative about you constantly. There's the Son of God at the right hand of his Father in heaven. And he is speaking over you. Forgiven. Mm -hmm. Covered. Amen. Loved. Yeah. Blessed. Mm -hmm. Growing. Amen. Advancing forward. Amen. God the Father, I know he's growing. He's covered by my sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Jesus is interceding on your behalf before his Father in heaven. That's right. and so why are you listening to the loser limb that's trying to speak, that's defeated, that's got his head crushed, it's a loser that's going to be burning for eternity in hell. Mm -hmm. Why are you listening to, to that voice bringing accusation against you when God is speaking life over you and blessing over you? Who's with me today on this? Sure. Amen. Yeah. Could you stand? I'm going to close today. Hallelujah. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor's in vain. Amen. But the Lord is building, and he's working. Amen. And I just de declare today, I declare mightily, Lord, yes, God. that accusation has no confirmation. Yes, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Accusation has no confirmation. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's not going to work, mm. because I am forgiven yes. by God, Thank you, Jesus. blessed by him. Oh, my Lord. I just pray, Lord God, that we would be people free from accusation. That we would walk differently, yes. that we would talk differently, yes. that we would lift our countenance up. Yes. Your word says, lift your eyes to the hills to where your help comes from. Yes. Your word says, look up to heaven, look up above. Yes. You, you call us to look up. Yes. And I pray, Lord, we look up. We start looking up yes. what you have for us and what you say about us. Yes. I just call that forth in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for your blessings. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. 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 All right. God bless everyone. Today, Shauna's bus pulls up right when I'm done. So, hey, we love you guys. Let's uh, take this word. Let's walk in it. Who's going to say, with God's help, you're going to take it. You're not going to hold on to those accusations of nonsense. Over your life. Amen. God bless you, loved. See you in church.